recently took a trip to LA for the Pan American Championship, the last qualifying event for Americans to get a chance at the Olympics. I went to film some interviews for Jim Climber magazine as well as had the opportunity to film some content for my own channel. Another reason why I went to LA though is to hang out with Geek Climber. Geek Climber is a climbing YouTuber that has blown up recently and say what you want to say but I think this guy is a beast. <laughs> the main reason why I say this is because he's honest with himself. He sits down and sees that he has weaknesses and actually does something about it. Although my pulley was torn and I wasn't able to climb much, I was able to sit down and give him a few exercises and a bit of coaching on how to improve his body tension, with some exercises that I firmly believe can be useful to anyone's climbing. Hi guys, I'm Albert Oak and I'm here with Geek Climber. What's up guys? Um, so I've watched a lot of your videos and I've sort of broke down how you climb because I used to be a coach as well. And I noticed that you obviously told me you like Orang, mm -hmm. and why don't we work on what you like and improve that more? That'd be amazing. I've yeah. seen that your body tension is somewhat of a weaker point of yours. It's already good, but like, you know, you can always improve. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show some really interesting exercises that help it. Whenever you cut your feet, it seems like you just sort of just dangle and then you bring it up, right? Mm. The goal today is to teach your body how to like reduce that dangle time to almost zero. Like when you cut feet, you come out to the apex and then bring it right back. That's the goal today. Yeah, I see. It's a very different concept, but first we're gonna work out your abs. Okay. I want you to just um, find any of the good holds. You can take a moment to read it. And I want you to just traverse. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be trying to pull your feet off the wall as you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> During this time, I made a quick circuit for Geek Climber. I try to keep it on good hold so you can really focus on his feet. Um, and I'm gonna try to pull your feet off the wall. Okay. If you forget the route, just and go and for jumps. Focus on pushing your Push through your toe, push through your toe. Come on. Come on. Nice, 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 stay, 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 or something that you're pulling me off. Yeah. So, but I really gotta try really hard to yeah. keep the foot off. It's a, it's a good thing to work on. And so, next thing is we're gonna sort of teach you how to cut feet. Okay. That's not a thing that you need to think about because you just cut feet and just put it back on. But there is like a very specific technique. So, we can even take a break for a second and I'll do a little demonstration. Yeah. Who's a professional climber that you look up to? Anna Andra. Anna Andra. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I guess he's not. The best example of cutting feet because he's really good at not cutting feet. Uh, someone else. Who do you think? Someone else. Paul Robinson. Paul Robinson. Yeah. He's good at doing what I like. Uh, I call it like bicycle feet. Whenever you cut feet, you cycle your feet back and try to get back onto the wall as fast as possible. Does this is smart. If you notice what I did there, the second my feet came, I pulled one back and then I cycled back the other one as fast as I can. So you can even practice just cutting feet. Let's say you're here. Just try to stab the wall as fast as you can. So pick a jug and go to a jug and stab your foot. And don't let your feet dangle as, like you want to cut that time as much as possible. It's gonna be a little tricky, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cut that. Quickly, bring the right foot. Stab the wall anywhere, as as anywhere as you can. Stab your right foot as fast as possible. Ready? Come on. Stab. Nice. Do you feel the difference of like knowing to release and then come back as fast as possible? You want to be thinking about that every time you cut feet. Mm -hmm. You can do a thousand ab crunches a day. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you know how to use your core yet. 
just because you have a, it looks good, just because you have a six pack doesn't mean it's useful. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of climbers you'll like even see at the Pan American uh, Championship today. They're not like super jacked, super ripped, but they know how to use their tension as really fast as possible. What do you think of this exercise? <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> For a bit of time in Texas, the Slovenian coach Roman Kronik, yes, the guy who coaches Janja Garnbrit, came to town and I was able to pick up exercises and get some coaching from him as well. The one thing that was always stressed was to practice climbing with one foot. The workouts always incorporated some form of one-footed climbing and it makes sense. If you can do something hard with one foot, imagine what you could do with two. But beyond that, it teaches you to move from your hips and puts you in often uncomfortable positions and really reinforced moving your entire body as you climb, not just doing pull-ups on the wall all day. Climbing is a full body sport, so why not use your full body? This is where you are, thank you. I'm kind kinda of hurt my finger, not gonna lie. This blue? We'll try it left foot once, and then right foot once. Okay, we'll one foot on the one foot the whole way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You'll take a longer break than I do though. That's actually great. John, you gotta try this afterwards, yeah? <laughs> sure. Nice. So can I do something? You could smear, yeah, yeah. Come on. Nice. Come on, bring it back quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Bring it back quick, nice. Ale, ale. Come on. Push, push, push. Nice, nice, nice run. Come on. Come on, pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, that's me. Swing that right leg out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. The one and only legendary geek climber. Crushing one foot climb. Let's go, dude. Oh, dude. That was hard, dude. That was, that was so good. Holy crap. Feels good, right? Yeah. yeah. You still gotta do the other one. Take a rest, take a rest, take a rest, take a rest. if you want. I had a great time with Geek Climber and he was really receptive to what I was telling him. If you want to try these exercises at your own gym, I suggest with the resistance bands doing 15 to 20 moves on a circuit wall or 2 to 4 boulders with someone pulling you off. Good rests in between and do 3 to 5 sets. And the one footed climbing, I strongly urge to always be doing that. If you climb a moderate problem, try it 2 more times with one foot and then left foot. If you want to get some power endurance, try doing a 4x4 with each boulder done twice, left foot only and right foot only twice. As much as this session was about me teaching Geek Climber something, he taught me a lot as well. Geek Climber has something that we can all look towards. Passion and motivation. At some point, he stopped asking the question, why am I not getting better, and actually did something about it. That's a trait that's really admirable and I wish him the best of luck in the future. So I'm Rilok again. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This is uh, a way to get Geek Climber getting some good body tension and good <laughs> exercises to work on. Uh, hopefully you can work on some of these exercises at home and try with some friends, with the bands. It's really fun to pull your friend off the wall, trust me. <laughs> it was fun pulling him off the wall. Yeah, that, that was super fun and then definitely learned a lot. Thank you so much, Albert. Oh yeah, so uh, uh, so we actually made a video with Albert um, on a finger strength test on a crane scale. So be sure to check it out here. Yeah, somewhere up there. Somewhere up there. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Also, huge shout out to our wonderful videographer, John, who you can find his YouTube channel and Instagram in the description as well.
Thanks Geek Climber and I'm pretty sure if you keep training the way you are, you'll have to change your name to Great Climbers. Thank you.